realistically compare them because Dak has been in the league for so much longer and Purdy's sample size right now is so um, – like it's obviously incredible, but it's kind of like, okay, does this stand the test of time? Um, I for sure think Dak – He's having a better year against with not turning it over as much, but I mean, he still has turned it over a lot. And I think he's like, I think previously before his injury, something that we could be concerned about with him going against the 49ers is his movement ability, but he has had a lot less movement ability since his injury. So um, what do you think? Who do you think is a better quarterback? And do you think that's even a fair question for me to ask? Yeah, I, I know what Dak's numbers are. I've like TV watched Dak a little bit this year, but I haven't like watched watch Dak to have a strong opinion on whether Dak's been playing well or poorly this year. I've heard the other strong opinions in regard to it, but I I don't have one personally. I think Purdy has played pretty well this year. In regard to who's the better quarterback, it's it's like, well, I mean, if you're looking at their sample size, it it becomes very difficult to compare the two. Uh, I mean, Dak has started for the last eight years. It's a big deal. It's not easy to start in the NFL eight years, back to back to back at quarterback. There's a lot of people that we thought were really good for a long time that don't start eight years back to back to back in the NFL. It's not easy to do. Um, And Purdy's 11 starts into his career. Now they've been 11 fantastic starts reaching the highest of highs for somebody playing just those 11 games, but it's also just been 11 games. And so it's very difficult to compare the two because Dak has accomplished things that we need to wait and see with Purdy, but then Purdy has accomplished things in a small sample size that we have yet to see Dak accomplish. Um, But in regard to how Dak's playing again, sorry, I, 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 if I get to watching Dak, I hope to do it like Friday or Saturday sometime before the game, but I might not get to it and just see it live. Um, but I, I think Dak's had a pretty good season. And in regards to the turnovers, I, as far as I thought, and I couldn't pull it up in time, I thought Dak had only thrown a pick this year, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's against the Cardinals. He threw. Against, I think last year, I was going to say this year, he's had much better yeah. turnover luck. Last year, and last like, and like, last year with Dak, part of the issue was he had a bunch of tip balls that turned into picks, and we've seen. I mean, up. as Niners fans, we've seen those yeah. can go either way. So yeah, yeah, we've definitely gotten extremely lucky with that. With that, I'm curious your opinion. Will your opinion on Purdy change if the 49ers win or lose this game? Because I think I you hear that narrative, right? Like this is going to be their first test. This defense will be Purdy's first test. Do you think? If they win or lose, um, you'll think higher or lesser of Purdy? Or do you think it'll depend on, like, how they win or lose? Because they could, like, it could be like, okay, he turns the ball over a ton and is really bad. Or they could just lose because the kicker can't kick. Didn't, I mean, that was a huge problem for Dallas last year. <laughs> no, I know they have a new kicker now. but you know. No, because my opinion of Purdy is not, like, good or bad. It's not like, oh, he does these things so he's good or he does these things so he's bad. Good or bad is very easy to evaluate. All of us can see good or bad just based on the statistics, based on the team result and all of that. My evaluation of Purdy and my mindset of Purdy is what his skill set is. And I don't think that that changes whether he plays good or bad. If he plays well more consistently with his skill set, then he's a good quarterback. If he plays bad more consistently with this skill set, then he's a bad one. But for me, one game is not going to shift that unless we see a drastic change where all of a sudden he's making throws that he couldn't make previously or he's incapable of making throws he could make previously or he moves very differently than he used to. If we see that type of a change, then all of a sudden I change my evaluation of him as a quarterback. But how he performs to me um, can be somewhat circumstantial and is hard to take in a small sample size and say, oh, he's now this or that. And I think we've seen, we've had a strong, we've had an ability to give a strong take, not on whether he's good or bad, because I think he's been overwhelmingly good. We're just not sure how good yet. Um, but we, we, we have been able to see what his skill set is, what are the things he does well, and what are the things he does poorly. And over the course of 11 games, I think that playing the 12th game poorly is not going to change 
what he does well or what he does poorly. I agree. And I think that that sudden, like how you said, the, the one thing that would kind of change your opinion, it would be like a sudden change in um, ability or escapability, arm strength, anything like that. I think maybe coming into the season, that was what some of us were afraid of. It was like, okay, we kind of know who he is or who he's been so far, but coming off this injury, is there going to be some big change? And there wasn't, which is fantastic um, for the 49ers. And they definitely had confidence in that. And um, I think that that is great. 